Hello, everyone, and well, right now our previous host Asuka is not here, so I will be starting this off so far, and we'll go with the intro. We'll start off with introductions right now. So we'll go in order from this from the Skype screen I'm looking at, starting with uh, Chaos Breaker Dragon. Hello, I'm Chaos Breaker, and I do the I manage the Chaos Breaker page, and I'm also recording stuff. Yes, he's recording. And now we have uh, Mr. Blondezzle. Go for it. Asa does not hear. Anarchy. Anarchy. No. <laughs> oh my god. Surprisingly, it's a bit better. Take the show. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, thank you for that. Well, just be sure she doesn't hurt you later. Uh, well, right. I, I'm already feeling the tingling spot in my head. It's gonna. <laughs> Your line senses are tingling. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. And next up, we have Mr. Raging Form Dragon. Say hello. Rawr! What's up? Yes, that's like the best response ever. Are you sure that's <laughs> not Raging uh, Drunk Dragon? Too, no. too soon! Too soon! We're gonna bring that up later. <laughs> Alright, and next we have Miss Kumi Okazaki. Hi everybody, I'm the I'm the really cool page, and I'm half asleep, so if I say something stupid, don't hold it against me. Don't worry, we'll have it on record. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just kidding, don't worry about it. <laughs> and last but not least, we have Misaki Tokura. Take it away. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm Misaki Tokura of the Misaki Tokura page. I apologize if I sound a little shitty as of right now. It's actually because I woke up from a nap and I'm not half asleep. And speaking of, let me just go grab something real quickly. Oh, you sound pretty good so far, so yeah. Oh, trust me, I'm going to sound a lot better in just in a few seconds. Oh, that's always a good thing. Okay, so what we have on the, the to-do list today is now we got cards to talk about. And like like last week, we're, we're, picking, we're picking out four cards that we thought are pretty interesting so far. So let me just head to my page here and I'll... Okay, do yeah? you need the timer? Oh yeah, get yeah, get ready if you can though. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'll just be looking through the the stuff that I posted. And... How do I sound, y'all? No, oh, you sound really good. That's good because I have my micro my professional microphone plugged in now. Yeah, I, I can tell that. See. <laughs> yes, and yeah. Alrighty, so so four cards we so four cards that we, that we selected though. The first one, well. I was kind of hoping Corrin would be here for this one because she would love to see this one. This is a, a another Jewel Knight card from the Comic Booster, which is uh, Borrowing Jewel Knight Alt Gallo. And her skill is basically when her attack hits the Vanguard, you can pay the uh, you can pay the cost by Soul Blasting one. And if the number of rear guards you have with Jewel Knight in this card name are three or more. Then you can search your deck for a grade 1 or less card with Jewel Knight in its card name and call it to rear guard and shuffle the deck. It is a grade 2 unit oh. with 9,000 power. So, to get things uh, started, I guess, uh, Ezel will have to be will have to BRB for a bit, so yeah. So we'll start off with uh, uh, Chaos Breaker. What do you think of this card? <clears throat> uh, it's pretty... Uh, not, not to say it's or anything, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good card, I still like it. I think everyone still prefers Sword Me <laughs> over this, but... Uh, I think they'll, yeah, I think they'll be using Sword Me with this anyway, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but more than likely this one will be... Probably take that too. Yeah, it's a good threat for the attack, like, oh, you know, attack, and it's like, oh, I'll get a free great one if you don't block this, so it's not bad, yet. I like <laughs> it. Alrighty, and since Ezel's BRB, let's go with the Raging Form. Very different card. Mm-hmm. All right. Kumi? Um, let me start mine. Okay. Um, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty unique. I could actually see it being comboed with, um, Sword Me. Um, mm -hmm. who knows? We'll see what happens. And Misaki? I think it's a pretty cool card, because to be honestly with you, I think it's interesting that they're, we're getting more Jewel Knights back for, uh, for the uh, sh gold, eh, not gold paladins, eh, royal paladins, which I mm -hmm. think it's nice they're ge they're getting more support that way. Hmm. 
Alrighty. And my thoughts? I think this is actually pretty neat, and not to mention, though, the, the thing that gets me is the cost, because what the Jewel Knights needed, there's like an efficient way to Soul Blast. And when it, right now, the only cards that they had to Soul Blast was the, the, the Interceptor unit that they had from GBTO 3, I believe? Or... Yeah, I forgot though, but it was the one one that they, they got earlier though. So, but yeah, but the, the yeah, this is actually a pretty good way, and I would say this could be. I can see this being tech debt too because you know it's an on hit skill, but it's still at least nine thousand, and it's it can at least do what what sword me does only without counter blasting. You soul blast, mm -hmm. and I guess for those who run the legion, they're probably going to need to do that too. And that would be my thoughts on the card. So. Right. Says it's a cool tech card. Yeah, good job. And I think we lost rating form, but he'll be back. Alright, and so the next card we have is another Royal Paladin card that I think Tetsu wanted to, to go over, which is something that I that I think they needed. And it it is a uh, Pack Gal from the comic booster. And what it does is basically when it's called to Rearguard Circle, you Soul Blast two and you counter charge two. All right. Well, yeah. And Ezel and okay, I guess we'll start off with Ezel. He said, "Finally, finally, freaking finally." <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Kumi, let's go with you next. Uh, I don't know. Indifferent. Mhm. Mm sleepy. <laughs> okay. Can't make judgment calls right, right now. All right, Raiden Form, were you here for this? Uh, what from Packle? Yeah, yeah, Peckle. What I do you forgot think? what the... He's, he's, yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, he's basically, you call him to the rear guard and you counter charge too, by soul blasting too. Oh, what is he? Royal Paladin? Yeah, Royal Paladin. That's like Lemonade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Chaos Breaker. Yeah, I, I agree with those. Well, they finally have something to unflip and damage, especially... Mm -hmm. I, what great, what, what great, it's a great one. Great one. Yeah, now... now Players who play the sword me stuff and all that are gonna get more incentive to play that now. It's like, oh hey, look, free and free free counter charges <laughs> for more counter busting. Well, I think sword me needs jewel knights still to call out. Yeah, and yeah. even then, though, like someone's like some people, a lot of decks tech in like un uh, non, uh, non yeah uh, what you call it. But yeah, this this is my this might be seen a lot more now. Mm-hmm. And Misaki. I think it's interesting that uh, gold like royal paladins. I, I keep I keep calling them golden paladins. I apologize. I'm still sick. Um, and um, sorry about that. My sorry about that. Shin's apparently playing like, some rap mu music in the background. I apologize. But anyway, um, I think it's interesting how they're they actually now finally have some things that can actually flip like flip in the in the damage zone while also like soul blasting too they actually have like more i guess more of a boost of a chances of it to attack i guess Mhm. Mm sounds good yeah and as for me i would say like yeah this this is something that royal paladins needed for a long time they needed like a a very a consistent way to counter charge though and they have for, for the longest time they've been going without it and for a while they've been rely they have to rely on uh on their perfect guards, pretty much. Or heal triggers. That too. And especially since the fact that remember the the secret decks never got the uh, got their Velocity clone. Nope. <laughs> yeah, since I was a pro, oh like, yeah, yeah, Knight of Fragment, yeah, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Knight of Fragment. Well, I guess Knight of Fragment would be a good way. That's be that would be like their Zuitan clone, I guess. Yeah, but it's like. But then it has hit. <laughs> yeah. Like... But yeah, and also I think you also needed another grade two out too. Yeah. So that was that was that was still kind of restricting in the way, and if you pay against like Link Joker or Kagero Dex, though, that would kind of render him useless. But yeah, and Kumi, are you good on time? Kumi, there we go. It just that it actually just stopped as soon as you said that. Okay, okay, okay. Alrighty, so now to the third uh, third card was. A card that was just recently uh, announced, which is another G unit from Aqua Force for the Clan Booster, and it's for the old Ripple Ride Chain, which is Torrential Ripple Podromos. Not a ripple. Yeah, it's a... it has a funny day. I know, I know. 
It's like he's he's a Spanish dude. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> but in it, in because it, it's Podromos, amigo. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. So his skill is basically you choose another one of the the Podromos in your generation zone, turn it face up. When his attack hits the vanguard, if you have a heart card with Ripple in its card name, you may pay the cost. If you do, look at the five cards on the top of your deck, search for up to two cards with Ripple in its card name, and among them, and call them the separate rearguard circles, and then you shuffle your deck. Ooh. Alrighty, uh... Kumi, you start us off. Oh, okay. Um, I'm happy Ripples are getting support. Um, that's exciting. Is it? It's a really interesting effect, and, um... I'm generally happy about this. Mm-hmm. And the name is just like... It rolls out the tongue. Podromos. <laughs> Senorita. <laughs> go for it, anybody. Okay. Alright, All right, so next uh, we'll go with Misaki. I, I'm not really much of a... Uh, of a... Of, uh, of Aqua Force. Aqua Force player. So, I think it would be interesting how they got a new stride, but to be honest with you, I... Like I said, I'm not really a Aqua Force player, so I don't know how it play in my, play out of my head. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, let's go with Chaos Breaker. What is this? Uh, hype up the. Well, seeing as how all the Genovias is on freaking TCG player are gone except for the SP, <laughs> that hype was too real. <laughs> and well, uh, this will be awesome for people who want to play uh, any of the old uh, Aqua Force uh, mm-hmm. Genovias build because. You know, the free superior call for two, if, as long as you hit, just puts a lot of pressure. It's like, oh, hey, I hit, and then, especially with all the new stuff, it's like, you know, you can boost the back and everything. Probably see, like, a 2 open a deck. Alrighty, and as for Ezel, she's more diversity on Aqua Force is amazing. So, is that what you want to say about it, Ezel? Hell, Mario levels. I mean, I'm sorry I can't join you for that, but I'm just going to probably head back and have to take care of. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, Corona. Alrighty. And sorry. I, guess, I yeah. popped in for a second. Alright, no it's problem. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're just talking about... Yeah, we're just, we're just talking about the new cards, right? Some of the new cards right now, so yeah. We're on the Ripple one. Yeah. Hey, All say right. hello. Huh? Say hello to the people. Yo! Yeah, it's Gunner Gear. Hello. Hi, Gunner Gear. Alright. Raging form, what do you think? Okay. Who's on the the phone? Uh, I'll explain when you're older. (laughs) Wait. Anyway, it's a very interesting card. Can't wait to face it. Can't wait to face it. See what it does. Hmm. Alright, and as for me, I do play Aqua Force, though, but I do not play Ripples, because, well, for me, I'm kind of biased towards Ride Chains, and I don't really like Ride Chains, though, but... I still think this card is pretty good. I mean, the fact that it uh, this unit doesn't have to rely on like a certain order of attacks, that also in, it in itself kind of makes it a little dangerous, though. But depending on how your uh, how your deck is set up with it, though, you can set up some pretty nasty plays, and especially with the Legion Revival coming up for the Ride Chain. But then again, I'm I prefer Maelstrom, Maelstrom over this guy. But I like I really like this guy's art, though. Yeah, it's might... pretty awesome. We might not huh? even see. Uh... Right chain deck anymore with the ripple because you just need Possibly. three two and you're good. I, I guess that's one way to look at it if you want. Yeah, but. Mm. <laughs> but in any case, though, I guess that's what we got on this one. So, are you good on time, Kumi? Yeah, you have like eight seconds. You're good. Okay. Alrighty, and oh my god, for this last one, I kind of wish Asuka was here because she'd be going ape shit over this. <laughs> And it's a card for it's a pro, it's a promotional card for one of the first G Pale Moon cards announced. Was it? It's called yeah Daydream Tone Arnie. It's a Generation Break One skill, <laughs> and if the attack hits a Vanguard, you counter charge two. <laughs> I already know what she's gonna say too. Yeah, I'm mean, like, uh, if she was on at this time, she, uh, I'd be having her like go nuts over this. But then, yeah. Alrighty, so I guess to start, we'll start with Misaki. What do you think of this? 
I think it's interesting. And then, I mean, it'd be awesome to see, to actually see uh, more Pale Moon and Jean now. And I, I kind of wish I got to see Asuka freak out. But you know what? That's okay. I could see it later. Well, she, she, yeah, she said she'll be on soon. So I'll, pro I'll probably, in sometime when she joins in, I'll just tell her to go tell her to freak out about it. Okay. Be because we all like to hear her reactions. Oh, yeah. Yep. Alrighty. And, Ezel, what do you think, if you can hear us? Let's wait for him to type stuff. And while we wait for him to type stuff, let's go with uh, Raging Form. It's a very, very interesting card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to probably see a lot of this card can't wait to see when exactly this card can be used and to see what other Pamela stuff comes out. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And, uh, Kumi, did you go? No. Okay, we'll go with you now. Okay. Um, I think that the, um, the countercharging on hit it is, like, that can be really deadly uh -huh. and, like, they could use something like that. Um, and it definitely adds that pressure. Mm-hmm. Hmm, that's an interesting way. Oh, it looks like we get, we're getting Ethel back, so I guess we'll yeah, have him. Oh, welcome back. And at the same okay. time, it's not that threatening, but I guess it depends on the situation. Yeah, I guess. All right, now since you're back, Ethel, what do you think? Oh my god, this card is so cool. I'm going to freak out for her real quick. Oh my <laughs> go, god, go for it. It's so amazing. There's so many ways to use it. Oh my goodness. Pale Moon has so many <laughs> ways to call stuff from the soul to rear guard and attack, put it back into the soul, get multiple attacks. Hey, that big turn I just made, well, guess what? I did it for free. Welcome <laughs> to the circus. Uh, that sounds like something that she would say. Mm-hmm. That <laughs> probably is something she would say. You, it you probably know, would be. You know what would be funny, though? If she, get, if she once she gets on and we tell her about we tell her to freak out about it, she does exactly the same reaction. <laughs> All righty, so... Well, we last... Anarchy met earlier. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with that, though. But last but not least, uh, Rage, not Rage, uh, Chaos Breaker. In the words of Asuka, final freaking Lee. <laughs> <laughs> they needed it. Because <laughs> uh, apparently she's gonna. I, I'm taking the book, or taking account of her, taking, taking something from her book. It's. They needed it because they've only been dependent on the Sky High Walkers for their unflipping, mm -hmm. and especially with the Legion, the new the Legion Pale Moon and the new Pale Moon, more than likely we're gonna be they're gonna be counterbossing a crap ton. Mm -hmm. So I mean, this is something they they're gonna be enjoying to have for use in the decks. So, yeah. Alrighty, and I would say you know. If uh, if I were Asuka, I'd probably be saying, "So does this mean I don't have to strangle Mr. Kidani anymore?" <laughs> <laughs> Who? Uh, the CEO of Bushy Road. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. No. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, but in, in any case, though, this is actually really good, though. I mean, it may not have any of the Pale Moon like uh, mechanics, though. <laughs> though, but. The thing is, though, the fact that it countercharges two on hit, um, I mean, ne ne never mind the fact that it's a generation break one, mm -hmm. the fact that it countercharges two is like, damn. This is actually like one of the first cards that has like a grade two countercharger that does this. Um, I think Neo Nectar has a, a similar card, um, mm -hmm. Dream Wheel Dragon, something like that, where it's a grade two, it was a common, oh. and oh, that one. break one with the same effect. Oh, yeah. I guess this is like one of so, yeah one of the first ones I guess other than Neo Nectar, but the thing is the only the only bad thing is this is like a promo so we're yeah. just gonna have to wait and see how so, we'll get this in the U S. So so you, the the moment that the U S releases this as a promo, and we have to pick them all up, hoard it, and <laughs> sell it for a high price. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you're going with this uh, you're going there with this one though. Oh yeah, I would <laughs> just for fun. Thanks, up. Alrighty. And that will be it for our cards of the week. So yeah, got some pretty good ones. Interesting, some interesting ones coming. Oh, looks like a new card just got um announced. Oh, what's that? Uh, Cobalt Neon Dragon. Cobalt Neon Dragon. Oh, the new uh, Aquaforce card. 
Oh, yeah. okay. Well, like, what, attack plus 2k or something? Is it? Hold on, I'm, I'm also kind of checking it, though. And while, while I go check that, though, Alex, you got any more news of the regionals? Oh, yeah. So we had Hawaii and we had Greece, if I remember correctly, yeah. And sadly, no one said anything about Greece for the, oh. for the regionals. Oh. Well, the I couldn't find anything pertaining to it. So, unless, did you guys say anything about Greece? Um, um, actually, no. Wait, did anyone else? I didn't. No, I haven't heard anything. I just know they're having a hard economic uh, time over there right now. I'm part Greek, so... Oh, and I've lived in Greece for, like, a few years. Yeah. I have a friend who's Greek. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but there's, like, no info for Greece, so I can't really say much about that. All, all the only thing is that they had the regionals, and, the, and people are like, oh, good luck. But... Hawaii had theirs, and we got first place Shadow Paladins again. Uh, Yay! Uh, ten crit, two draw, four heal deck. A uh, little bit of Tekken of Karns and Black's, Blackwing Soul, Sword Breakers and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. it's like a basic build. And then second place, this is what really surprised me, and it was Narukami that was running. What? That was running four Dragonic Vanquishers, three Tempest Bolt Dragons, and one Descendant. That is kind of interesting and pretty ballsy. Yeah. So, the stride is, was one Blizzard, three Zoras, four Conquest. It's a thing. But what's surprising, it wasn't even Brawlers. It was just Vanquisher. And I, I applaud that. It, it, it's the, the Tajiru deck. Yeah. So, I, I'm looking at it, it's like, um, not bad, plus the the one Tekken stand trigger that was in the deck, too. And then, third place, we got Dimension Police, and it just happens to be Metal Borg, Sin Buster, Break Ride with Dykeyser, and two alternate grade threes. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, the deck's, and, you know, three laurels in the deck, so, basically, uh, basic punching and go nuts on it as much as you can but yeah so we got another shadow win a shadow paladin winner and congrats Yay. to that and mm -hmm. now for the for the next week we're gonna or for the coming week we've got <laughs> I think okay it was Puerto Puerto Oh no, that's Puerto next Rico? week. That's next week. Puerto Rico is next week, mm -hmm. not this week. Come, not coming this week. Mm -hmm. So I think they have a break this weekend, twenty sixth and twenty seventh. Yeah. So there's not. Oh, sorry, spoke too soon. Australia. That's why. Oh okay. Australia. So they're gonna have Vanguard wise buddy fight, and then they're also gonna have a World Grand Prix Japanese event that's going on in Australia as well. So, huh. that's pertaining to white shorts, mostly. But, uh. Uh, yeah. But that, I think that's on a Monday. If I'm, yeah, that's on a Monday. So they got, like, some hmm. big thing going on. Why would they have that on a Monday? Uh, I don't know. It's a Japanese event, so they're gonna be doing something. In Australia. <laughs> Japanese event in Australia. Australia, yes. So. Down on the mic. <laughs> so hopefully we get some information on Australia's card fighting slash whatever the other ones are so yeah, yeah that'd be great to see yeah Hopefully and then i know i know i know ours in california is car coming up soon too oh one more month or one more month I, uh, i'll be putting my uh, day off uh request in uh this weekend i already talked to my boss about it and it it looks like there's a 90 percent chance i will be going so yes. if uh -huh. i go that means other people can go which means we'll all have a good time. Yeah, I'll also bring some gunplay for people because, like, like before, this is like off, a little bit off subject though. Like, but like, uh, I won like the gun, the gunplay campaign, and then for people who, for some of the people who wanted them, I'll just be bringing those along. Ooh, please. All right, because, but yeah, we could talk more about that after the podcast though. Yep. All right, so 
All right, so for the card that was just announced by Raging Form, though, the yeah, Cobalt Neon Dragon is... They actually announced a wave, which is pretty much what I think a lot of us thought, though. They, they just wanted to term, uh, give the terminology to, like, the attack order of which Aqua Force is known for. Or, so, I think it's the number of attacks in yeah. the turn. Yeah, pretty, yeah uh, that's pretty much what I was saying, though. So basically, just uh, this, uh, the wave yeah, abilities look wave two or more. This ability is active when in the, by the specified amount of battles in a turn. So this is wave two or more when this unit when your other unit attacks this unit gains two thousand power till the end of the turn. Alrighty, so it's eleven base, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yes, it is. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Chaos Breaker, what do you think about it? It's okay. But, I mean, as an alternate grade three, it looks pretty good, but. Eh. <laughs> yeah, it's basic. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, and uh, Ezel. It's kind of a hit and miss. I mean, yeah, it gets the, uh, you know, the extra 2k, so it becomes a 13 beat stick. Mm -hmm. Set up column correctly, it's a 21 or even 20, you know, column. But, uh, yeah, it's, um, mm -hmm. it's a good alternative, but, uh, yeah, I'm a little indifferent on it. Mm -hmm. And what did for him? It's a pretty interesting card, again. Same thing like uh, Chaos Booger said. Yeah, and Kumi. Kumi? Oh, okay. Well, I... we'll move on to Misaki. I think it's interesting. That's all I have to say. Yeah. As for, yeah. And as for me, I would say uh, it's a little bit basic, though. But... It's at least, uh, just by announcing this, at least uh, can let people know what Wave is now. That uh, There's no any on, like, added uh, added effects. And uh, so it's just basically just a way to, like, like give the terminology to, like, the Aqua Force's mechanics, though, so that that way they can save a lot of tech space, too. Save money. Save money, yeah. More reading. <laughs> no, save money, less reading. Yeah, I was gonna say less reading, but then add more text in there. <laughs> add more text. I guess the, if they want to add like other specific abilities, though, too. Bring back the Lord. Bring. Aww. I guess no. I guess I guess not though, because you know, the, the the extreme fight is still a thing though. So I guess. No, no, it, it was just a joke. What? Yeah. What? But yeah. Okay, so um. With that being said, we've already covered the cards, and then the new card, and then I guess whatever regionals we could. Yeah, that's so, all. Yeah, that's all we got. The next part is though we'll we'll talk about the GBTO4 sneak peek preview coming up. So <laughs> everyone will look. What do you hope to get? And we'll start with uh, Chaos Breaker. Um. Well, I'm going to the uh, car shop down in like an hour. Mm -hmm. Buying a, a kit. My friend's getting a, a splitting it with me. We're hoping to get <laughs> Gear Chronicle, a little bit of Angel Feathers, uh, a little bit of Royal Paladins, and Genesis. Everything else we're selling. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much what we're looking for. Hey, Raging form. Shadow Paladins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? And maybe some Neo Nectar. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Alrighty, Ezel. Um, I definitely want to get some Royal Paladin stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, I'll be happy with whatever I got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Kumi, are you awake? Kumi. Okay. Well, I think I think yeah. Kumi died. Yeah, I I think she's a little out of it though. So, well, I guess we'll uh. Yeah, we'll just wait. I guess we'll just move yeah. on. So, uh, Misaki? I'm... Janasa! What? <laughs> wait. Give me all the Genesis. Every single one of them, give it to me. Yeah, don't worry. You'll be getting some of the stuff I get. If I go to, Gen if I go to the sneak peek, I want all the Genesis. Give me that. <laughs> and before you pull out Vanagander. 
Yeah. I want my Vanagander. I want my Wolfie. I want my puppy. I want my puppy. I'm like, we need the stack. We need the yeah. stack. Wait, what's the difference between Van Vanagander and, and Fenrir? Uh, Vanagander is the G unit. It's the one that does the G unit that does the stacking. Stack, stack. Uh... What's it look like? It kind of looks like a, a bigger, a, like a more beastier version of a uh, Fenrir, a big wolf version that he's kind of kind of looks like a some kind of ghost a bit. Imagine a uh, Fenrir as a uh, werewolf. That's the perfect uh -huh. way I can describe it. Yeah. Or I guess you could just say a furry. A furry. Hi. <laughs> oh, so it looks more like a furry. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Alright, All right. and now, now that Kumi's back with us, though, what do you hope to pull? Uh, oh, this is set five, right? We're talking no, about set four. Set four. Oh, yeah, set four. Um, OCT stuff. Well, it's not in this set, though. Oh, oh, this is the stink preview we're going for. Yeah. Oh, I want the secret pack. You and me both. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay, and as for me, yeah, like like Kumi, I want to, I want to see if I can pull the secret pack. If I do, I might keep some of the ones I want and sell the ones I don't want. Like I'll probably be selling the Phantom Blaster, and if I get like Primavera or Chronos Command, I'll probably sell those though. But I'll keep the next stage. I'll keep the Amnesty. Mm -hmm. And aside from that, we got the, uh, we got the. Uh, uh... Oh yeah, Oscar, what's up? Oh, wild Oscar. Yeah. Try to catch me, I'll bite you guys. I uh, I think we, we caught you already. Don't worry, I'm wearing gloves, so you bite me, you'll hurt your own teeth. Oh, I don't care. I caught it with a Pokeball. How? Oh, okay, but Kumi catches me. <laughs> yeah. Get in the, po get in the yeah. Pokeball, you little shit. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, Kumi, yeah, if you, you you wanted to see what Vanagander looks like, I think Alex just posted the picture. Yep. Thank you, thank you. I know, but uh, yeah. Uh, aside yeah. from that, though, I want to... So the ones that are coming in are, <laughs> are Chrono Dragon Next Stage, Phantom Blaster Dragon, Our Guys Are Damned, and ooh, what is what is this you just posted? Uh, I love the t I love the flavor text of of my card. Yeah. I love what? it. I don't know. I, I don't yeah. know what the left card is. I know the right card is though. It's a Link Joker. <laughs> oh, the 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 the, the right the left card lo looks like a Narukami. Something. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a Jin card. It, it, yeah. It's a flurry. Here it is. <laughs> Yeah. Something like that. Is she going crazy? Right. Well, yeah, I'll, I'll update that later, probably, yep. yeah, in a, in a bit, though. Yeah. But in, in any case, though. By the way? Yeah, and huh? so since, huh? The other octopus, the grade one. The grade one? Yeah. <sighs> what about it? Uh, flashing Ripple, uh, um, I Oh, no, well, we, we didn't pick that one, though, because we picked the, the G unit over that. Okay. I mean, it has a yeah. pretty good effect, but... Okay, Asuka, since you're here, what do you hope to get for the GBTO4 sneak preview? Something good. My pulling ability team sucks. Oh, yeah. What? I'll pull, I'll pull everything you guys need. She, she pulls Genesis. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, you pull Genesis? Send, send them to Misaki or me. Yeah. I know, somebody wants them off. Already, so I'll see what I can do at the moment. I know Mitaki needs some, so I'll see what I can do. Um, I need Madonna sauce. Um, I hopefully because I'm going to Ezol's mm -hmm. sneak peek to win the mat during the raffle. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. He that might. Is, he, he. I think based on what he said, he might change it up, or depending on how Bushi Road. Uh, yeah. Confirms it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, what do you mean? If you Bushiro hasn't. Well, yeah, he, he had to go talk to Bushiro about stuff uh, for the pre release and stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, good. I told him to. Also, all right, I guess if we're done with this segment of what we all wanted to get. Wait, Raging Form, did you go? Uh, for what? For the. Oh, new, uh, Shadow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you wanted the Shadow Pals and stuff. All right. Shadows and Neo Nexus. Okay. So when once okay okay since we're done with this segment though we might want to backtrack a bit because we want to hear a certain someone's reaction to a card we went over. <laughs> Asuka. Uh, which card? Which As card? Asuka. What do you think of Daydream Tone Arnie, the promo card that's Pale Moon? <laughs> Finally, pushing <laughs> Rose. 
I need a decent shot one. <laughs> we were right. <laughs> yep. I yep. Said, right. I told you this is how she would react. Basically, okay, um, for all those who think this is an OP card, it not. I'll say this right now. Um, reason why? When the la last time we got a um, flipper, it's a... I've dreamed of Hail Moon. I've dreamed of Hail Moon. Everyone took one. Me. No. <laughs> anyway, um, basically with Sky High Walker, we're the last one we got that was on flipper. And the only one up to this day... That is a home flipper. And what moment? And um, basically, we needed this card so badly. You guys know this. You, I, I want to play draw triggers, but I can't because I have to play stand triggers because of this card. Because it's the unflip ability. I don't know why Silverstone would be playing differently at the moment if we had an unflipper. Um, I know we're still going to get the perfect card of flipper. That this how it is, but for this being a promo, and if the attack hits, then I get to unflip two. It's a good payoff. Uh, I believe other clan have something similar, right? I think Neon Nectar does. Yeah. 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 Uh, the uh, the uh, Neon Nectar and this are like the first one they actually get like an on hit counter charge too. Right. Well, also Gear Chronicle, but they're not two hit at the one flip. Yeah, it's basically just like Bellicosity. All right, um, we needed okay. this. Okay. Um, I can't wait. And for those who get on the hype train, fine. The fuck off. Try. No, oh no, let them go ahead. Let them see if they can try Pale Moon. And when they fall on their asses, I'll be there to take their decks. This is like, <laughs> this is, this is like the Messiah. All over again. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't want people who think, "Oh, Pale Moon gonna be such a good plan." Look at all the new cards. Wait, how am I supposed to do this? Well, it's this, 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 this. Oh wait, you don't have purple track pieces? <sighs> yeah, you don't need her. I have at least about eight of her. And <laughs> Zelma. Yeah, you guys are warning people. <laughs> Asuka's going on a murdering spree. And oh, shadow no, paladins are coming. Our shadow paladins are our first victim. <laughs> Damn, been, dude. We've been, been victim one since day one. But, uh, so, so she, she's gonna hunt Ren down? No. Well, always hunting Ren. Um. Huh. <laughs> 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 think about it. Uh, basically, I don't mind people. I don't mind people. I don't mind people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, music. Who was that? I think that's Chrono Jet Dragon. I heard a organ in the background. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at the opera. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, Phantom of the Opera? Wait, what? Well, I mean, if you, if you didn't know, apparently most of my new strides are going to be interspectral dragons. I said an interdimensional. Mm -hmm. Wait, when did that happen? Just yeah. The trial deck name. Yeah. Oh, I didn't read his name. I'm sorry for interrupting. What are what what are we talking about now? We're just me killing me, me killing people on the hype train for pale moon. Yeah, that. Oh, okay, so uh, I'm not getting in your way. All I care about is the interspectral dragons. Go ahead. You get yours. Mm -hmm. I get mine. You try units. What? You get mm -hmm. your strike oh, units. I, don't know. I get my strike units. Oh. Anyway, oh. um, I I can't wait for them to come out. People who get on the hype train. I can't wait to see you fall. And you guys will fall on your asses. Damn, dude. And I'll be there to pick up the cards. You're like, you don't need this. Oh, yeah. By the way, the one of the Nightmare Doll cards has a text still, but we don't know what it does yet, so I just posted it. Show me, show me it, and let me see if I can figure it out. Okay, well. And... Bloop. Bloop. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm actually going to get on my computer for this. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, she beautiful. I want her. <laughs> okay, so... Well, now, now we got that out of the way. Hey, hey this is a break right unit. Is it? Yeah. Mm, you sure? It doesn't look like yeah, it. Yeah, it is. There's, uh, it, it, there's no limit break thing on it, though. No, 
It's when but it, it gained at the beginning. K. No, it's at the beginning of the step. Uh, soul charge yeah. one, give it one. Are you sure? Because the red text and all this looks like a break right uh, I think it's. Yeah. It might be. A, it might be one of those. It might be one of those stride break things. Oh. It could be. I mean, I don't mind. Or is it stride skill units? No, it doesn't say anything about that. It's See, an, plus one. It's an axe skill, but I think it's yeah. after you Wait. soul charge one. No, no, it's a continuous charge. It's a continuous skill. Yeah, hmm. green. Oh, it continuous? Okay. Yeah, kind of last one. Something, something. Something about the rear guard. If anything, she probably have to discard herself for like the um, this like healthy. And then that grade one, I think, might be a battle sister. I see. The one that next to the to the right of that pale moon unit. No, I, um. Because it's kind of... OTT. Yes, yeah, no TT. Yeah. And not. I don't know. I don't I think don't it is. I think it might be. Or yeah, it might be a generic though, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks very cute. And that new. This is like an angel feather, actually. Yeah, uh, but Angel has are getting no support. Yeah, they're not getting support for the next set just yet. Uh, oh, <laughs> so, this, yeah. yeah, this is the deck. It's all there. Yeah. Okay, so this is Gear Chronicles, and, Pale yeah. Moons, yeah, and... I just, I just posted the one with the Pale Moon. The the Stride Skill one, the deck's coming soon, and so is the G in it, but then there's the Grade 1 with the skill. Can't that's... really read it, though. Okay, so this is coming out right now. Oh, okay, full side. Okay, so that grade one is the stride enabler, right? It might be. Counterblast one. No, wait. No, no. It's not the stride enabler. No. Be that. Yeah, it's a counterblast. Uh, neither is the other gonna, one. It's gonna be, um. This one probably gonna use the skill of magic. And see, I get a new harpy. I haven't got one since Pharaoh. Oh, <laughs> well, they're gonna trans. Someone's gonna translate it in like a minute or so. Pretty sure. Yeah, uh, I'm assuming this so I can post it on my. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, but that dry unit, she's so cute. Alrighty. Wait, who's? Oh. Uh, someone's phone was kind of ringing. Out of vibration. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that's mine. Okay. Uh, oh, I I just got back home. I'm very okay. sorry. It's alright. Oh, that dry unit. She have a dragon behind her. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, I, I found you over to you. Sorry. People who don't, um, you can even ask everybody here, how many times been I been texting, tweeting, Bushiro? Um, a lot. Ever since we, fr ever since we were prodding you about that. Uh, since, uh, GBT01, I think. Yeah. Well, no, no, I, I need GPT-01, it's a, um, Shadow Paladins, and then set for, uh, I haven't stopped since then, so mm -hmm. even with the next day, I got pissed off because Shadow Paladins again. <sighs> well, can't wait yeah. for these. And now, we, 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 we have to just say this, you're welcome. <laughs> they no, listen to you guys do not get to say that to me! Well, no, was, no, whoa, 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 whoa. We, te we teased you to the point where you were telling Blue Shore, give us more support, and then it's like, all right, we'll do it. No, 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 no. This See, is a... this is what we call butterfly effect. No, and don't bring, don't bring that into this. I know, I know. Sorry, I mean, mega colony effect. No, no, not the mega colony effect. No, the poison butterfly effect. <laughs> 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 Okay, well, with that out of the way, after our, uh, our what we wanted to get in the GBT04 stuff, we are going on to new episodes, so... Everybody ready? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so new episode was uh, kind of expected, but we didn't know how it was going to go about, right? Well, yep. Yeah, it's, it's sort of... Ex Sort of expected though, but like not really disappointing. We got, we got to see some pretty fun stuff. And ninth animation. <laughs> All right, oh, so we... Well, we know who's excited for it, so we'll have him go last. So, well, to start things off, um, Asuka, since I'll... you, yeah, yeah, I'll take the lead. I'm about to say, let me go for it. Uh, usually I never go first. It feels weird. That's because he okay. takes the most. Yeah, no, I can take rain, but anyway. No. No. Anyway, um, 
want to see a new episode. What did I like? I like that it had action. I like that Chrono had, like, everybody was hyping up Doom. <laughs> Which again, me. It, that was just so pathetic. I was like, oh my gosh, stop hyping him. It's easy to blog. It called Perfect Guard. <laughs> that, that was funny. Um, it was cool seeing Next Stage, and I, I surprised Konsaki did not learn from the previous match how his technique worked, and he could have blocked it. I think if he would have done it what right, mm -hmm. Chrono actually smart. Don't attack, don't boost and attack with your uh, strike unit to save it for last. And Gear Wolf once again get to attack. <laughs> uh, can't wait for the next. Uh, no, Much Gear wow. Um, I like how next match it is Kono for Seibuki for the, the final time in this season. It's going to probably be a two-part episode. And that can be awesome. And I like how Jaime pretty much made everybody fall down. <laughs> He's a one-man dog pile. Yep. I'm here for you. Uh, I'm going to go to one red. Oh, no, the uh, two, uh, two red. Alright. Well, Kumi, are you still with us? I think she like I guess that's Go Rage Inform then. Alright, Rage Inform, go for it. Oh well, it was interesting it was a very interesting episode. Very good seeing Chrono Jet punch Kazaki in the face. <laughs> Bam. Ryan the moneymaker. Very interesting seeing Kazaki defy physics and gravity <laughs> at the same time. Horse horse. So kudos to that. Very good that Taiho finally opened his damn eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I can't wait to see next week's episode. Oh, okay. Sorry. Next, Misaki. What? It was a really good episode. I liked how Chrono Jet Dragon Falcon punched Kanzaki in the face, and Kanzaki just like laughed it off. It's like, ah, I don't care. I'm just like, screw the source. I'm resigning so I can skip out on the conversation on the conference meeting, and so I can see get my new power. And also on that, how the crap does a freaking horse work like that? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Wait. We have to. Assume, we always oh, yeah. okay. I was going to okay. interrupt you. Yeah. Go, and I'll explain it at the end of this. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, we'll do this right after our little episode spiel. But okay, next up, uh, are you done, Misaki? Yes. Okay, uh, Chaos Breaker. Yes. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, the the that I, I don't understand the U.S. hyping up da damned for no apparent reason. It's like, oh my God, it's the legendary unit that no one ever survives. And uh, its its effect is almost groundbreaking in some way that you know you'll lose. I'm like, really? The, 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 I mean, do, it, are you really serious about saying that? <laughs> it, that's like almost every single card that's you know happens to be the best card. And you know it was funny to see that, and then everyone gets their like uh, ego. Hurts. Everyone gets their ego broken essentially at that point. And then, what was it? Uh, in the quotes of Family Guy, pow right in the kisser. <laughs> Damn, I was going to say that. I, oh, I, I knew it, too. But, yeah. I, I know. Well. It was so good, though. He, him getting punched right there. But, um, yeah. I can't wait for the next one. So. Yeah. And my reaction to this, I'm on, like, yeah, it's pretty much the same what uh, Chaos Breaker said. Pow right in the kisser. <laughs> I mean, I would, I would just, want to, just wanted to play that on repeat. Pow right in the kisser. Pow right in the kisser. Pow right in the kisser. That meme. You know what? I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that. We gotta make I a meme. Can that. <laughs> I can, someone yeah. get off this on it. But yeah, in, in, in any case, though, yeah, I actually liked it. It was expected though, but it wasn't as like boring as the the Chrono versus Tayo fight. And I just love the animation where Aura Guys or Dam came out. <laughs> I mean, I gotta admit that was pretty cool though. He like I just woke up. Hi, people. Yeah, I know. And like, it's, and I also like the fact that, well, yeah, like what Raging Worm said, Tile finally understood and stopped being a little shit. <laughs> and then, uh, and of course, I'm mean, so like, yay, new friend, Dogpile! 
<laughs> Amiga. And, and then, of course, we saw the, the Kanzaki scene riding the horse down the fucking building. I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Your horse is not Butt Stallion? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> While he was riding... While he was your, riding your, yeah, your horse is not made out of diamonds and it doesn't crap out guns? <laughs> Uh, yeah, your horse doesn't. Your horse cannot be on Butt Stallion's level. Get checked out, mate. Oh wow! So excuse me. <laughs> that's wow, not, Kai. That's not how your horse is supposed to be. I'm sorry. Fuck that. And with Essel being back, what did you think of? Uh, how, oh, how, how's, how's my how's my audio? Oh, Ow, your, your, oh, that's bad. That was your audio was really chop, choppy, scratchy. Oh. oh, oh, is it better now? Uh, keep talking. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll keep talking until someone tells me to stop talking. I think my kidney just got shot. <laughs> See, look what you did. You blew out his kidney. I blew out his kidney worry. with my voice. Don't worry. It's a talent. Re- okay, well, now, 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 you're, now, now that your audio is stabilizing, though, what did you think of the new episode? Oh, God. The horses don't go down buildings like that. I told you. He's and, and apparently he had three horses. He left the other two on the roof. Why? How? How? Those poor horses, what'd they ever do? Mm-hmm. Alright, is that... Um, it was a really good episode. The fight was really good. You know, next stage finally coming out and doing its thing, and Turner to actually punching Kenzaki was pretty amazing. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> then afterwards, it's like, you know what? Forget this. I'm out. I quit. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. You know, units are materializing and punching me in the face. Nope. I'm done. I'm out. Nope. 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 Uh, and that's all I have to say. I look forward to next week's episode. Hey. Right. And last but not least, we have Chrono Jet Dragon. Make a brief. Oh, good God. What? What was this episode? It did everything that I expected it to, and then caught me off guard still somehow. Like... It just... I mean, I sort of saw him perfect guarding that coming. Didn't see him having the second perfect guard in hand and thought he was going to dro- surprise us and drop a quintet wall or something stupid like that. I don't know why. For some reason, I never noticed the GG on the rear guard. <laughs> that was, that was weird. <laughs> uh, it's just... And then on top of that, it came down to something that's so classic that it's insane that, that they did that. One to pass. Let's do this! First <laughs> check. Nothing. Second. I can feel it! What, what I was surprised was, he didn't drive check a grade 3 like everyone did in the first season. No, he actually drove check something kind of guard usable for guard, even though the fact was he was going to depend on a crit to win. But hey, who, who gives a shit? Yeah. He won. Yeah. He beat him. All that matters is he beat him, and I materialized and decked him right in the chops. Then he went on his gravity-defying horse, one of three. The other two were left on the roof. And, yeah, he just went to do his own thing. Don't know where he went. Don't know... Actually, I don't even care. All I know is I got to punch him in the chops, and then went back to wherever the hell I was from. <laughs> good. Very good. See, I, I do have to say this, like, as a weird side note. The deck lists for all of Try 3 have been released, and there's only one thing that irritates me about all three decks. Me, <laughs> They're all 12 they credits? Run, no, they all run 8k vanilla and conveniently always ride it. <laughs> and the one 10k. No, no, oh, oh, there's yeah. multiple 10ks in their decks. Oh. I think the one 10k is uh, Shion's. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chrono runs three 10ks and Tokaha still runs four. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm completely off topic. I just had to mention that and that just irritated the crap out of me. There's also one GG in deck. Hey, and, awesome. and, and really weird thing to bring up, uh, Chrono's trigger layout was revealed, and it made me very nostalgic about season one, because it's the exact same trigger lineup as Aichi's. Ten crit, two yeah, draw. Yeah. Ten crit, two draw, four heal. Anyway, uh, I, that's that. that's all I got. Watch Outside that. of uh, <laughs> wait, wait, nope. There was one thing I just realized. I don't think anyone mentioned. One more no. fight. Forget one more fight. I'll fight you as many times as I want. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah! I could feel the fluff moment. Uh, it is OTD physically. Yeah. Uh, 
All right, so. Done. Done. All right, but before we move on, I actually found some pretty. Okay, yeah, that Oracle Think Tank is the Oracle Think Tank unit we were talking about earlier. It is used. We. It yeah, is used for Tsukuyomi. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Count to plus one when this unit is placed on the rear guard. You may pay the cost. If you do, look at the top five cards of your deck. Search for one of them with Tsukuyomi in it, card name among them. Reveal it to your opponent. Put it into your hand. Put the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order. So it's a, oh my god, it's, a, it's literally the right chain, but in a trade wind form that you just call in the rear. Mm -hmm. For the... Uh, yeah, do you mind me going with the next two? Uh, go for it. Okay. For the gear, Chronicle one. What? Metal Glider Dragon. I don't like his name. Remember, so English and Japanese will switch the names. So. Like damned and doomed. Counter blast once. When this unit is placed on the vanguard or rear guard circle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one of your opponent's grade one or less rear guard, and your opponent puts it to the bottom of his or her deck. Screw Bailiff, you're going in. Hey, <laughs> bye, Emil. <laughs> <laughs> no! and, and also, just for you, Asuka, that new Nightmare doll. Yes, there we go. Nightmare Dark Doll Catherine. Oh, I love that name. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna make my Alice deck again. <laughs> Catherine, why does that make me think of a horror movie I know? Or a yeah, video game. Oh, yeah, the video game. Yeah. Video game. Yeah, video game. Okay, all units named Nightmare Doll Alice on your rear guard get the power, get 10, 1K. 10, 1K power. So it'll be 11K hitting. And. Counter blast one at the end of at the end of that battle that this unit attack. If the attack did not hit during that battle, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose up to one card not named Nightmare Dollars from your soul and call it to the rear guard. Put this unit into your soul. So basically, either way, you allow Alice to hit or you don't hit. You're hit or not hit. I swapping. Switch your deck for for a card and put it into your soul. And show your deck. So you. cut. So 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 it it's uh, her name if Beast Catherine Tamer Bunny, a Beast Tamer Bunny Queen secondary skill, mm -hmm. and giving and it's similar to a Break Rice skill, it's, considering it's you give a, skill. It's just so you can run Catherine Alice in the whole deck. Yeah, and um, which is strange considering at this point you couldn't play all Nightmare Dolls in your deck. They don't work well. This is like the first time it going to allow, um, doll allow nightmare dolls to Every work together. Everyone hoard the nightmare dolls. <laughs> no, I need two more. Alrighty, I'll see what my work has. Thank you. Yeah. I go for being a friend, I'm like a certain chaos breaker dragon. Yeah. Can I? Can, can, can I? Can I eat it? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. Okay, with. With all that said and done, though, now to get back on track, though, I guess, you know, we, we could have filled them a bit more time, because we did kind of, like, plow through these, though, so... Uh, well, let's talk about that physics. So which one? <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't the hear horse. you. The horse. Oh, the horse? What about... Oh, yeah, the, the butt bike. stallion wannabe. Um... Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Okay, we never okay. actually see it's the side of the... We never see actually the side of the building. We don't know if if we're in a diagonal. So well, technically, <laughs> as we saw that building, it was like like every other building that just stood straight, very tall, and he was just riding straight down. I don't know, Kansaki. I don't know that. <sighs> what the horse? Whoa, what horse hooves was he wearing? I don't know. When I saw that, there we go. There we go. I don't know, I was just thinking, like, I only know one other horse that can do this, and that horse trained with in Gundam to do that. Funsaki? Kunsaki. Yeah. Funsaki. Funsaki. Oh. That's the only other horse that I know that probably can pull off a stunt like that. Maybe uh. that's a Gundam reference. Oh, God. <laughs> but if they're trying to take a shot at Borderlands, I'm sorry, you can't crap guns, you're not amazing. Or even a shot at Gundam. You don't have the Gundam with you. Well, I mean, they, the they sort of have something, but D-Police was not in this, se in this season that much. 
Mm, which is? Just in that uh, that one movie that, that Chrono watched. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Don't! Too I have the best episode! <laughs> <laughs> we know you for for the best episode this year for awards. Thank you, thank you. I'm here every day. All right, so on to the next topic. Um, oh, what do you guys think of the new skills for these cards? Isaki, what do you think of Tsukiyomi support? Oh, hello. I think the support for Tsukiyomi is cool, but sadly, thing is, I don't play with Tsukiyomi. Oh wow! Wait, what? Uh, I need this. Yeah. I need this in my life. Wait, what this one? Which one are you looking at? Oh, Steam I need this in my life. Where's the art? Yeah. Where's the art? I need to see this. The Steam what? Oh, the... Oh, there we go. The the great one. Yeah. Don, the one with the hammer. Actually. Yeah. When you can place on the rear guard, choose one of your opponent's rear guard and, put, and return it to his or her bottom of the deck. Search his or her deck up to one card that one grade less than that unit. Wait, didn't we already have one similar to this? It's an 8k. Mm. I can run a 7k grade one that does the exact same thing. Called Danish. 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 We'll just call it Danish for We're now. We're just gonna call it Danish. Danish. Just, just gig. Battle this is Danish. Yeah, get, get me a Danish. I'm hungry. <laughs> I wanna. I'm hungry. I could eat a Danish. Yeah. How about I'll you guys get... stay away from my new grade one friend over here? <laughs> Aren't you adorable? Oh, you're from Trial Deck. Holy crap, that's actually really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> So, it looks like trial decks are getting really good support for once. I mean, they always do, but this the actual game makes me excited. Cause the more recent game, ones have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yum, yum, Danish. Is that doll? Is that Nightmare Doll? Is it a part of um, which? Um, it's not part of trial deck. I know. It's part of the... I don't know. It doesn't say, actually. It's the funny thing. Uh, those who are listening, I will go in with a case for you. I will go in a case. I need a whole little pale moon. Yeah. Uh, well... Someone I know said that uh, they would use Nightmare Doll Catherine as a, as a coaster. Ooh. Who would do that? So, not someone you know, though, but someone that I know but don't really hang out with a lot. It's, uh, why? Eh. I mean, well, I guess they I guess they don't like Nightmare Dolls. Nightmare Dolls are cool, even though some people think they look creepy. Eh. Uh, that's them saying it. That's them saying it, not me. Well, as you can tell, I'm not going to get over upset because of one little person's opinion and the piece I bring. But, oh well. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not upset? Oh, Why would I uh, get upset? Oh, and then they said, they, they, the, the, they, they, said the, they also said that they would chuck it into the ocean. Now, see, I know you're making that part up. Um, not necessarily. They said something similar, though, but it's not too far-fetched. I'm just like, okay, well, that's what you want to do, fine. Well, go ahead, do it! Because though people, I'll show them how a Nightmare doll truly is. Yeah, just give them the nightmare they want. Oh, no, I won't give them the nightmare they want. Oh, j just give it some time. That Nightmare doll will become a new uh, Bermuda Triangle idol. Be the new, the new meta. <laughs> and then, the, then they'll be like, <laughs> Too strong, please a nerf. Um, no. That. Oh, Shadow will say anything to get anybody else to be lower. Hey, hey, hey! Except for raging form. Oh, hey, and thank you! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> no, see, see, this to me. Wait! Not all Shadow Paddle Paladin doll players are evil. No, 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 no. You. I didn't say that. He did. Okay. Um, um, I need to admit that some of them are narrow-minded, and when other support happens for other clans, they do get to a point where they get all needy. Even though they just got how much support in the last how many set do they fucking it's need not anymore? Enough. It's not enough. They need their Lambros. They need their... They need you know, their own special damage the No, they they need a, they need their own version, a hybrid version of Overlord and the uh, Phantom Blaster Diablo restand guard restriction. And retire. No, they don't get. Also, and, they retire. Don't get my... and, re and retire and superior call. Oh, okay. So they need an Overlord and, and, and return stuff. Yeah. They need. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. So so they need like an Overlord, a basically they one need... of oh, every card. Hold on. Are you telling me they need 
Phantom or no 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 Overlord the meta, or... yeah. well, to make you. the to make this short that what they want is token Ron Boo. <laughs> oh okay see now that makes sense. <laughs> Because Token Ron would pretty much just every one skill compacted into one. Yeah. Uh, does well, it actually work? Depends. depends. Maybe one more box to make it good. <laughs> we need a card player to play Token Ron in the anime. Uh, not gonna happen. There'd be some weird um, unless it, Unless it's an OAV with a strange dream. Daigo comes in playing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Something like Chrono facing somebody that from Tokorombu he'd be like, what the hell? And it turned out it was all a dream because he was playing Tokorombu. No, That'd be like, weird. No, long, no long, long story short, Chrono would be playing uh, playing the Token Rambu Otome game. Uh, pretty much. He falls asleep while playing it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what kind of implications are you making about my vanguard? Nothing. <laughs> I, I don't know, you should ask him. But in any case, though, now that we've got a lot of this fun stuff out of the way, we'll go to a deck profile this week, which is uh, the buddy fight one. Uh, I guess. Yeah. I'll and... just give an overall view. I can't see the whole list by list, but I'll give an overall view. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I already listed mine out, so I'll let you go first, Asuka. Oh, this is the thanks. deck that you, you want to build, right? Oh, I need my nin -nin. <laughs> right, Take it away. Um, deck name... I can only guess one person would get this reference. Okay. Huh. Ah, uh, Shinobi Hengen. <laughs> well, two, okay. two, three. Two, three, okay. okay. That, that, that must be a common Raider thing. No. No. It's a nope. common Raider. Ninja. Ninja. Four. four. That's four. Oh, Sentai. Four. four. Yeah. Um, basically, no, sadly, not yet have um, common Rider got a um, ninja one yet. Yeah. <laughs> We don't need no ninja. We got final form. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you got Frieza? Uh, no. <laughs> oh shoot! No. No. Damn anyway, it. um. Anyway, <laughs> I bet. Anyway, well, cold. now now I want a ninja coming right up mixed with a time one, so that that going to happen now. Anyway, um, so this is basically I assume ninja because I play Katana World. Um, so, basically, my main goal in the deck is to bring out the ultimate ninja, grade 2, I, I'm level 2 I have, which is, um, uh, Goji Maru. Mm -hmm. And I would probably play up to 3 of him, playing 4 would be too much, considering to bring him out, you do have to pay a high cost, which is basically get rid of 2, get rid of 1 card name with Tsukikage, and 1 card name with, uh, I want to say... Biakia? Yes. I know wrong. Yes. Biakia. With names. So I assume just like Tsukikage, Biakia will have his own names with different cards <laughs> on the field and put them into the soul, pay the gauge, and you get to call him. And so, of course, I have to play four Biakias, four nano machines, um, Tsukikage. Tsukikage. My buddy in the deck. At this moment, it's um, blade mode, but I have played with nano machine better. I feel like he better buddy. Mm -hmm. I play with two Sukikage series, which is the dogs, mm -hmm. and of course I have that um, the level two that allow me when this is called when this is onto the field, I can switch my deck up to grade one or lower and put it into my hand. Hmm. You have the card, Kai. The one that you the one with the ball. Which one? Uh, oh yeah, the the one that I think it's a counter final, really, and then when your life drops to zero. No, 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 not that. But uh, I do play that card because in this deck, I notice I can't play, I can't play um super lethal formation. Uh. I have to have one way of going about my strategy, and if I play with super lethal formation. It either take away from me using Goji Maru, or take away from me not having the defense I need. I need this. I need the gauge, and I can't pay for all of it. So, if using the other two, um, um, the other two impact cards, the one that Kai said, 
and the other one when this card is activated, I can choose one ninja card on my field and call up and um pull out all the other cards of him mm -hmm. and put it into my hand. So that way, if I have a Sukikage, I can get all the Sukikages and don't have to worry about him and go go to your model at the end. Um, I do play with a 100 demon card. It, the one for Katana World that I get to attack the opponent directly. Whether or not the monster on the is in the center. Mm -hmm. I still have to test the deck out. It really far from completed. But the ideal is going for a Goji Maru and using and using the ninja counters to defeat my opponent. Hmm. So it's a different style of playing, but I figure I better with the counters than I was with the super relief formation style. Hmm. So that my deck. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. One. Oh, cool. Go so, yeah, yeah. If you need to, though, I'll help you test it out. Does the computer get back? And when the computer hit one hundred, thirty-five. All right. All right. As as for me, I'm gonna use. I'll go with my Star Dragon World deck that I'll be building for the regionals. And a deck I'm gonna name it Handsome Jack for those who play Borderlands. Oh my god! Why? Because it's it's Jack. And he's handsome. He's a handsome dragon, so we call him Handsome Jack. Oh gosh. <laughs> I know, but okay. So of course, I'll, it's it's from Star Dragon World. My buddy is Star Guardian Jackknife, which I'll be ordering after I get my uh, books for school and stuff. Alrighty. So the monsters, though, I well, I actually kind of categorize them into uh, categorize them all into my different size, spell, and item and impact. So for starting off with size zero, I'm going to. Go, I am running three Dragon Arms Artilliger because it's another one of the cards you cross nized with any Neo Dragon. Mainly mainly to support, of course, like either Jack or Variable Cord. So what this card does, if he's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, the Neo Dragon gets the ability that if he attacks a size an originally a size two monster or below, it gets to negate the skill when it after when it attacks it. So any units with Soul Guard get kinda screwed over. Which also kind of screwed over because I've been testing this out with Corrin a lot, and it made her very sour. Mm. All right, and then size one, I'm running three Dragon Arms Cavalier, which gives the, the Neo Dragon the Penetrate ability, and that's an, also a pretty good one too. And I'm running three Dragon Arms Vogel, which gives the Neo Dragon uh, the Move ability, which is also very helpful because Jack has a really good amount of defense though. And I'm running three Dragon Arms Winchester that when it damages an opponent, I get to select an item card on their field and destroy it. I may bump that down to two, depending on how things work out. But right now, because the only one I've been uh, practicing against is Corrin, and she doesn't run any item cards in her deck. But So basically, he just uses Soul Guard bait for now. And then the last one for size one, I got Dragon Arms Divisigator, which practically buffs up uh, the defense of the Neo Dragon by 2,000. Already, and for size two, I got my uh, four copies of my buddy. Well, four po four copies in the deck outside of the the buddy zone. Star Guardian Jackknife, and just basically just yeah, you pay a gauge to call him, and then select a card from your drop zone, and then place it into his soul. So that's always pretty helpful. And for the other one is I, I run four Dragon Arms Elgar Cannon, which is the size two size two Dragon Arms card, which. Be the only bad thing is, though, I can't play him and Jack at the same time, so what I do, like to do is either just place him into the gauge and then just pay the cost and then just take him from the drop zone. That, or I use the Dragon Arms Factory card to help with that. So what he does is that basically he gives the Neo Dragon, when he's in the soul, 2,000 extra 2,000 power and a plus one critical. And for the last one, I just run two six Omni Stormlord variable cards because... I only run two because that's pretty much... I don't know. I, I used to run three, but then it kind of got... In some areas, he, be, yeah, yeah, he became kind of a dead card, though, so... Mm. And also that he, his cost to call him out is a little costly. I think you paid two gauge to call him out. And it does kind of screw me over sometimes, too. And a lot of times I don't have a lot of cards to place into his soul from my hand. So I just... If in case if I don't run into Jack... I don't run, like run Jack, though... Or I don't draw into Jack. I, I can just call him out and just 
The good thing is he already has the penetrate, so I don't have to worry about putting Cavalier into his soul. So I can just put him just just a few cards just to get me started until I draw into any of the Jackknife cards. All right, and for size three, I run the Star Guardian Jackknife Full Burst. I run two of them, which I'll be getting at the regionals for participating. So I'll be running that in the deck. He's basically like a He's basically like Jack, though only he's a size three card, and his ability is, yeah. Instead of his, I have to pay two gauge though, and then I select a card from my drop zone and put him into his soul. And he also has a counter ability: is you pay one life. I get to destroy an opponent's monster with four thousand or less power, but that's only once per turn. But I can activate that during an opponent's turn, which can be helpful. But at the same time, it just depends. And he also has the penetrate ability too, so that is also helpful. But Unlike the size 2 Star Guardian Jackknife, he has 2 critical, but he has 7,000 attack and 6,000 defense. And of course he has Soul Guard too, so that's also pretty good. Alrighty, and for spells, I run 4 Dragon Arms Factory, which is... Ve I, I love this card a lot. Because you just all you have to do is discard a Dragon Arms card and just draw 2. And, and like... Yeah, I know a lot of cards that you had to require to be at a specific life, but this one, just like, nope, just discard a Dragon Arms and draw two, but at least you can only activate that once per turn, though, so. And then I run four Earth Barriers, which is pretty much the equivalent of my green Dragon Shield from Dragon World, which Asuka hates. I hate all, I hate all those. <laughs> but the, the, only, the only difference between that is, though, this cannot protect um, the monster, though. This can only protect if I'm being attacked directly, pretty much. Okay, so unlike my ninja... Yeah. yeah, I have quite similar to that. Yeah, and I run Proto Barrier, which is exactly like Blue Dragon Shield, which is in the trial deck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I actually picked up two trial decks, so I'm I'm good with the Proto Barriers. But yeah, like Blue Dragon Shield, lock on with Oscar. No, where, where? Ah! <laughs> there we go. And then. Also, while while prior practicing with Corndo, I actually bumped my Speculate Rings up to four because. Because I remember just like what my friend told me is like this can't protect since they can't protect monsters though, I want to get something that could so I run four speculate rings which is like the Drago energy clone it just gives, uh, it gives the the monster you select though three thousand attack and defense with the counter attack ability as well so, which I find that really really handy because when Corrin tried to keep killing off Jack I went nope I just used that in counter attack and killed off a lot of her cards during her turn so that that was pretty odd. That worked out pretty well. And then finally, for the last spells that I use, I use two Sudden Wormholes, which is, is pretty interesting, though. I mean, it does cost a gauge to use, though, but uh, what I can do, I can call a size 2 or less monster during during my turn, though, by, by paying its call cost, though. But its second effect is, though, it's, the second effect is a counter ability, though, which calls a size 1 from the hand, which it can be useful, though, but... Uh, for now, I'm only running at two, though, and I know that Chaos Breaker, oh, you still have that one, right? I do. I have the one. Alright. It's, yeah, actually, it's actually really good, because um, apparently, based on what I've been talking to people, um, if you have your center open, and they attack you directly, or de they declare a direct attack, and you cast mm -hmm. this card to call something in the middle, that attack is nullified, and they can't redirect the attack. Oh, so, well, that's, inter that's interesting to know. Because we had the same issue with uh, uh, Legend World uh, with their uh, Starfall Knight or something like that. It does exactly the same thing. Call something onto the uh, onto the center or something like that, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, when that actually happens, you technically nullify the attack. It's like Battle Fader. Yeah. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. So it actually kind of it helps with. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, and for my item card, I run three Photon Sword Filament. Because it's a free equip, and if I damage, it may, it's only one critical. But if I damage an opponent, though, I get to charge a gauge, which this deck really needs. It needs to keep charging that gauge to make the big plays. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty good, and it tends to it tends to, it tends to make corn very sour too. But I meant, uh, yeah, because I was thinking of uh, running some of the other equip though. But I think this one is the best one for me to run. Might be. Yeah. Oh. It, well, I mean, the other sword doesn't really do anything. Yeah, it just you just pay a gauge, pay a life, and then it just uh, 
huge beat stick that does three damage. Yeah, might as well get the one where you get gauge if it hits. Yeah, and then lastly for the last one, my impact though I just won three radiant punishers, just in case if I need that extra push to finish though, and I do tend to get it off pretty quickly. So that that's pretty much it. Um, nice name, interesting build. Can't wait for I, you. I have a question. To... Yeah. You better not be getting uh, this one. Go. Um, have you ever thought about running um, um, that promo card, Buddy Lights, in your build? I have um, one. Um, Buddy Lights. Yeah, I I may consider that later on. But if I had to choose between that one, I would probably choose the Buddy Recall over it. Because yeah, because you can I can get a Neo Dragon uh, Buddy Monster from my drop zones. I can just pick out in case if I lose Jack, I can just get him for free pretty much. Oh, all I right. Mean, and Chaos Breaker, you you have the Buddy Recall, right? I have two right now. Yeah, I'm, I might need those. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, I I have them sided out for you, so they're they're okay. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And also, if you have any the Buddy Light card, I have that. I, I don't want. Yeah. Yeah. I, th I think I might pick that up just just to have in case if I do want to use it. Mm-hmm. All right, but yeah, that's my deck. And some Jack. <laughs> I didn't even know what else. Like, wait, uh, I was just about to ask you, what's the name of the deck that you just said it? Oh, uh, yeah, right, if I wasn't here when you said it before. Oh, okay, okay. Well played. Yeah, and besides, since he's uh, since he's from Star Dragon World, he's got a lot of blue armor. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna crap out diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next topic. Wait. Hashtag battle. Alrighty. Uh, what Asuka picked the hashtags? Oh crap! I haven't done it in a long time. Okay. Let's see. Uh. Well. And Bring then. It on, uh, people. Okay. For, let me just you take this one. Right yeah, I'll put mine and let's see. Uh. Um. Uh, overall. <laughs> next um, so while all the people are doing this, we'll take our time huh. and to talk about. Mm -hmm. What should we talk about? All right. Mm. I mean, while people are, I, mean, I guess we can go into the next segment. Which... I already put my I already put my hashtag in. Um, to bring it back down yeah, so that I can see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, just retype it in. But yeah, uh, is anything? Go into Kumi's weekly weekly question for this week. For this week, uh, though, uh, and I think she, I think she's still sleeping. So uh, yeah, we can we can still we can still go. Her last week question, and pretty much we all had an idea when she said this, but to real to bring it up again, it is our least favorite male character, right? Yes, that is correct. Okay. Sorry, Kai, taking over. <laughs> <laughs> go go for it if you want. Okay, so I don't know. Off the back, we already know who it is for Chaos Breaker, but go for it. Tell us why. Uh, the most hated character for me, the male character, is literally Roll Sarah from Legion season in Japan, or the J Japanese one, considering that it was did the English one. Reasoning why is because he never contributed anything to Link Joker whatsoever. He contributed to two cards, which one being the crappiest card ever. Don't know why anyone would run it. Technically yeah. four. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, four. Yeah, four. Dark Zodiac, Astro Reaper, mm -hmm. Venom Dancer, and his his mate. And uh, Sword Viper. Sword Viper. Yeah. Isn't Sword Viper actually remotely good though? No, Osmium's better. Cause I don't remember what Sword Viper does. If it hits, as long as it, if it hits, uh, and your Vanguard's in Legion, Omega Lock something. So it's a copy of Osmium, but you have to be in Legion. Whereas Osmium. Oh, that's like, lame. Osmium's better. Yeah, Osmium's mm -hmm. like, oh, I hit, I still, yeah. I just Omega Lock. It's oh, like, well, theoretically, that means you could have five, eight Osmiums. Right. Yeah. Finish, finish, finish. yeah. But yeah, essentially, when I when I saw him or when I. Saw him being a douche in this freaking episode. I was like, nah, nah. Especially his playstyle sucked. I was like, go away. You, you contributed nothing <laughs> except for that two cards, and that's it. Everything else sucked. Wait, wait, wait which character is this? Sarah. Uh, yeah, Raul, uh, uh, I remember Raul Sarah in the, in the Legion Mate arc. Yeah. The purple haired dude. The guy that played Musketeers in uh, Grand Blue. 
And then, uh, and then he went to Link Joker. Had a butler. The Mega Colony butler. See, that's how terrible he is. Yeah, that's that's how terrible terrible he's at. Yeah, that's how terrible (laughs) he is. Yeah, Yeah, don't worry, Misaki, you don't need to remember him. Yeah, you don't. So, you're good. Oh. Don't. Okay, you're going. But, yeah, that's about it. It's literally he contributed nothing to Link Joker. So, that's why I hate him the most. What the heck? Okay. Is. Is there any more, or. No, that's a. That's a. Alright. Okay. Um. You know what, Mizaki? You're up. Really? I have to be. I have to. You left <laughs> last week. You get to. I'm calling you out now. Okay, fine. Some people like would believe, think like amongst the group that know me personally well, think that Tayo will be one of the characters I actually would put on this list. Nope. But actuality, it's not Tayo. I actually really hate Aichi. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, she she told this to me earlier. I am oh. not a f I'm not a fan of Aichi because I think he's I think he's like the whiny version of Shinji and Vanguard. <laughs> and he hasn't and he hasn't like grew or anything throughout the series. Even in the manga. Ooh. So sorry Aichi, I don't like you. Well it looks like that ship just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mitaki, good reasoning. All right, Thank go you. for it, Ezel. And we lost. Ah, uh, um, I really haven't haven't had a lot of time to think about mm, this one. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I have two people. I have two people. I just you had to pick one. You had to pick one. Ah, uh, but one's wow. a joke. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, okay, the okay joke. fine, fine. Uh, um, uh, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the icebreaker on this one, Sarah. <sighs> Sarah is a horrible character. I mean, all he wanted was Aichi's seed, and that was just disturbing. <laughs> wow. I'm sorry. Way to phrase that. Bravo. Bravo on that. I bravo you. Bravo. <laughs> yeah, the funny, the funny hey, thing is, I mean, none of us are going to deny it. Well, hey, you know, the Misaki Aichi ship already sank. Might as well, you know, come in and save Aichi. I mean,. Oh my god. And I agree with Chaos Break Dragon. Did nothing productive to Link Joker except Dark Zodiac, which I've, I've actually been seeing a lot of people use it recently. Yeah. Messiah. Just because it's a <clears throat> decent card? <laughs> I, like I mean, it's something with Messiah, which is pretty cool. Um, but Sarah is a character, honestly. He is probably Vanguard's equivalent to Norman Bates. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, man. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. <laughs> and the other character I disliked most was Dave. 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 So season one, the Kai looked like. Only one! <laughs> yeah. Only one you Did get nothing productive one. throughout the series. Just looked like Kai. Horrible character. You only get one. As well, I'm cutting you off next week. Bad <laughs> Ezel. Ezel Corner. Oh, Gonna get the whip. <laughs> he's, he's not like worth it. Uh, can we hear the whip? You can do it. What yeah. about me? Alright, so. Well, okay, well, Kai, you're up. Okay, well, I would have to say from season three, Shingo Kamoi. <sighs> because. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people forgot about him for a while. I did too, and then I kind of remember why. <laughs> I mean, he he was funny though. I'll give him that. He was funny with his little buttons with uh, Naoki though. But like, he's always like disparaging others though. But not doesn't really have anything to show for it though. Nick. And initially, it seemed like his uh, like his his focus clan was gonna be like uh, it, well, it was gonna be Murakumo though. But then like, I know he he was probably put in there to like uh, try to like. Represent a lot of people who have multiple decks, though, but, like, he never really was consistent with a lot of the decks he ran. Like, he tried to run a Narukami deck, and he got his ass beat by Emmy. Mega Blast. <laughs> he, ran a fu- he ran a freaking Mega Blast in that deck. That's... Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. And then he ran he ran Spike Brothers against, against Kai, got curb stomped by Descendant. 
And okay. yeah, I mean the only good deck that he probably had was his reverse deck. Yeah. And that was pretty much it. And all other than that, he's just like all he did he was such a freaking know it all. But he couldn't really back up what he wanted to do, you know? He was like he was pretty annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, great uniform. You're up. Hey, uh, man, I would have to say Yuya from freaking Vanguard G. I, I agree with this already. Go for it. Mm -hmm. Reason why is because he reminds me of the clan hoppers. Have you uh, went hype from train. the. Yes. Clan hoppers, hype train, whatever. Kind of it. How he went from originally from a shitty budget. Go Paladin deck to an even shittier Shadow Paladin deck. Uh, oh, let me just interrupt one moment. Go Paladin player, was that a shitty deck? Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Keep if, going. He used, if he used Coil, I could have said, I could have vouched for him for two seconds. <laughs> for two okay. seconds. Okay. Go for it, Rage Home. Sorry. It's alright. Anyway, the only, the only contribution he did. He had the, in for the Shadow Paladin was introducing that one card that nobody likes. The uh, Great Three. <laughs> that nobody likes. The, the, yes, the the Great Three and helping us finally, helping us finally be be able to pronounce that damn sh um, stride card from the final for the finest collection's oh, name. Amnesian. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, my friend wants that. I I got rid of that card because somebody wanted it. I made a deal. Anyway, keep on going. That's about it. Okay. Good reasoning. Throne Jet Dragon, you're up to bat. Actually, the terrible part about the guy that, to be honest, I have two characters. I really, really... You pick one. You pick one. Well, if we get super technical, I have three. But two of them are the exact same character in my eyes because there's not really much of a difference between the two of them in the long run. But, Just um... I'm gonna go for the one that's actually completely different and has nothing to do with anything. Because this character has nothing to do with anything. Dave? It's not Dave, <laughs> but he comes pretty close and he actually has dialogue. But, um, in two different episodes, I mind you. But, from season two and four, the random guy who speaks in English. Oh, yeah. The one who's like, who went up to the mountains to find the Yeti. Oh, that and Kai was there. Oh, oh, and then he's in the airport when oh my God. Kote and Rati, Rati are going at it, and he's just spouting English. <laughs> Broken and there's English. something about this character that pisses me off. <laughs> I think it's the fact he appeared twice, had multiple lines of dialogue. We never found out his name. We never found out anything about him outside of he was looking for the Yeti, and now he's at an airport. Cool. What is he here for? <laughs> is he taking a flight? Is he is he on a world adventure because he's all of a sudden interested in card fighting and has to see it? Is he just there? I don't know. He's there to I don't speak care. English. <laughs> speak English. Oh my god! Ultimate Damichiro Robo! Great Dai Kaiser! <laughs> oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's exactly why he's there. I think that's legitimately the only reason he was a thing, and that pisses me off. I don't know. You're, you're free to like him, it's just... Oh, wow. It kind of irritated Ooh. me to have this random character speaking in English that I've seen twice, and the first time made even less sense than the second time. Why was he looking for a Yeti? Why did he Yeti still believe Vanguard. it was the Yeti when it played Vanguard? Yeah, why was it all of a sudden important to him that they were playing Vanguard? And why did he still believe it was the Yeti? Wow. Hey, wow. you, hey, Kai, can you put that into the uh, Facebook group, please? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, fuck that guy! There, there. Oh, there, God there. damn it, why is he a thing? <laughs> Pat, Pat. Oh, the it's Pat, okay. Pat, uh, don't worry. It's okay, Pat, Pat. It's okay. Yeah, there. There, there. I don't care. I don't care. I got to punch Kanzaki this week. I think I'm good. Oh. Don't worry. Like, we'll never see him again. Ooh. We will. We will. 
We'll see. We will. And I probably will. Him in the face no, 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 no. no, 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 no. It, if you do see him again, I'll give you a martini. You can get drunk and forget all your troubles. I don't have a mouth. He doesn't drink either. Whoa, 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 whoa. We, can, we, can, we can make you a mouth, and then you'll drink that martini. Well, I mean, oh, that's, that, that's, that's, why I, that's why I became next stage, so I can have a mouth. Yeah, see? Just evolve into next stage, and you can drink. Problem solved. Yeah, but then I'll go <laughs> over back to my original form, and it'll be like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, and then you won't be able to barf it out. <laughs> you guys are Where's it gonna go? Oh, God, it's leaking through the faceplate. God oh, dang it! <laughs> oh, man, this group always can make me feel better. I love this group. <laughs> Alrighty. <sighs> okay, Kumi. Yep. Uh, I I don't like Taigo because he comes and goes and and he's I don't know a celebrity within this series and it's just like, yeah, the real Taigo is cool. That's fine. I get it. That's cool. Awesome. But like, why are you a character in a series? Why? Sanctuary guard. Sanctuary uh, guard. <laughs> uh, oh, that part. I don't know. I don't like how he looks in this series. I don't like his personality in this series. I just... Uh, no. No, okay, you like Daigo. No, 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 right. no. Only the Daigo yeah. character. Oh, yeah, but also, but, uh, might I add something, though? I think it's also because uh, a person that we didn't like also tried to be him. Hmm? Huh? I think you know Kumi, right? That's... Uh, yeah, that person we don't like tried to be him, and I associate that person with him. Yeah. Okay, oh. but, 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 do, but do you like, you're okay with Daigo himself, outside mm. of Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with Daigo, the real person. Like, I still don't understand why he had his own movie, but whatever. <laughs> but two like, movies. Oh. He had two movies. Two movies. Whatever, I don't keep fucking track. But... <laughs> Why? It's why. It's a long a time. Why? Okay. Because they need a celebrity. And Daigo's grandfather is like the Ezzel, former prime. Ezel, you're in the corner for a reason. Don't <laughs> don't make it worse. Ezel, let me join you in the corner. I was at a child's birthday today, and I may have punched somebody. Wait, what? <laughs> cool, oh, Ezel, save the punching for the. For the faces of no, no. like Zaki, not for no, the no. children. Save the Guy, punch. Uh, save the punch for everyone else. We're all thirsty here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got that. We go. <laughs> yeah, I got that too. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay. Well, um, everybody win, right? Except for me. Yep. Yeah, I'm up. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking who I hate the most. Um, uh, it just came <sighs> down to quite a bit of people. Because I go by my anime logic of why I hate characters. Some of them are just plain annoying. Some of them don't take no for an answer. If he doesn't like you, get off of it, Nakisa. Um, what? But, Wait, what? Uh, oh, the one who, after Conway, I just don't like her. Oh, oh Nagisa. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't... I, I want to say she's my most hated character. She's not a dude, though. Yeah, I know, that's why I'm not saying it. And if it were female, I think most of them would pick a certain uh, Angel Feather player. Not you, Actually, Rekha, I Rekha. wouldn't. You wouldn't? You have somebody else? I have, I have someone I hate far more. Okay. Uh, but for me, I'll have to go with Soma. Who? Shoma? Um, Shoma. Uh, the... Shoma. Yeah, Shoma. 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 Not only because it's... Yeah, I was think... Was I thinking about Food Wars? Yes, <laughs> you yes. were. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Soma, Soma was cool, man. That was cool. Okay, why do you hate him? Um, okay, at first, I recognize the voice actor already. Akira Ishida. Yeah, I, I knew I was like, oh, that Gara voice actor, a.k.a. Asen Zala, so I know you're gonna be cool and all. No, your character got pissed, your character pissed me off. <laughs> Genesis don't need 12 crit. Misaki, do you need 12 crit in your Genesis deck? Yes. No. <laughs> Thank you. You do not stack triggers like that. That OTT. Go play OTT. You want stack triggers. Also, I, don't, I don't even play with that much triggers, but that many triggers on my deck. Well, yeah. 16. Well, 16, but she mean like critical triggers. Yeah. Was. Um, but with him, I didn't like it because he sounded like a narwhal. Like, as soon as... Wait. Shinon... He sounded yes. like a narwhal? 
a know it all. A know it all. A know it all. A know it all. Yeah. Basically, um, yeah, he can see the future. Well, crap. I call him BS on that. <laughs> if this were a card game, if it were that card game, I'd say BS. Because I doubt it, and you try to, and you try to say, "Oh, just because you won this time doesn't mean you'll win." It's going to, I just gonna watch that creepy. It's okay when Buki does it, but you, that creepy. <laughs> it's okay when Buki does. <laughs> it's just creepy, and then he tried to like, oh, try to blackmail Buki. Yeah, that wasn't gonna happen. And Buki will kick your ass. He did technically. He did. Buki, you. You, you made top five for favorite Pal Keller characters in Panthar. What's that one? <laughs> you are. Awesome. Thank you for doing that. Uh, if he come back, which most likely he might, um, I want his ass beaten so badly that he get mind fucked by the people in the next season. Damn, dude. Whoa. He becomes a new antagonist. So, so, there's a lot of shade up in here. <laughs> I call him out. Whoever made that page, I'll fight you and beat you with Pale Moon. Huh? What, the Shoma page? <laughs> yeah, whoever makes that page. Whoever Damn, will make, make that page. Make it. <laughs> I need to play that. He will not play 12 crits. I can make that page first. I play Genesis. Yeah, but you don't play with 12 crits. Even you said that's stupid to play with 12 crit. That's what she thinks. <laughs> but okay. what if... What I... if... <laughs> what if... If. What if they mix Fenrir with Yggdrasil, oh. then I Soul Charge almost their entire deck? Um. So last a lot of about six crits with Vanagrand, re-ride into Yggdrasil, Legion throw four crits in the deck, they have five cards in their deck. Okay, yeah, um, I, that's, I, but you know what, speaking of that style, I kind of no, play that style, but not all the stacking. Misaki, cool. She doesn't stack. That means she rely on her own luck in order to win. Narwhals, narwhals, critting in the ocean. She is using Vanagander, though. Causing the commotion. Yo, that one, cool. That one actually... Awesome. The shy units are... The shy unit... The shy unit he used... I actually... The shy unit looks cool. Skill OTT style. It's free. When Misaki used it, I can see her using it, because but her main goal is still... The um, so you know, regalias. She's yeah, scared, she scared me with that the other day. <laughs> you get a cookie. No one messes with no one messes with the northern north northern deck I have. Nobody. Except for everybody and, else. And your furry except except yourself. And your furry puppies. You got puppies. Leave my puppies alone. I just, God, I don't talk about you and your dragon dancers. Your little Star Wars thing you have. Having over there, well, Star Wars, bestiality, oh, oh. dragons, dragon dancers, slavery. Enough, Misaki, Misaki, corner. Did Oscar just put Misaki in line? Uh, oh God, it's all over. The way the world is nigh. Crunch a dragon. I'm you saw a dragon. Really smell. But that's the cake oh, is a awful. lie. Challenge your dragon. Calm down. Everybody focus. Oh, focus. Chemicals. Like, everything alright? Yes. Yeah. I smell chemicals. But in any hey, case, though. But in any case, we are coming to the end of this segment. What's on fire? What? Oh, what? what? Go check. Yeah, you might want to go check that. We'll have to end this rather abruptly with the, your question from next week, which is, what is your favorite quote from the entire Vanguard series, G or the original? Hold Thank on, you. people. I'll be back. But yeah. But yeah, with, with that said, we'll get the conclusion, ending comments, make it brief. Let's go. Starting with Throne of Jet Dragon. Happy birthday, Gunner Gear Draco Kid. Happy birthday. Uh, next, go for it, Ezel. What? Sorry, I, I spaced out for Anthony a second. Five, four, three, oh, two, Anthony Thomas. Okay. <laughs> um, God, I, I, I don't don't space out because otherwise you'll get sent to the corner for spacing out. <laughs> don't space out. Pay attention. Do your homework. Eat your vegetables. Yeah. Mitaki, you're up. <laughs> My only comment is how the. Freaking heck, can a horse do that? No. 
Nay. Okay. Hi. Where's it resonating from my laptop? Oh, wait, is it is my turn? Yeah. Okay, well. Uh let's see. Well, uh all of you looking forward to your sneak peek. Have fun. Hope you guys get good stuff and awesome, awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Okay. Star Vader up. Um looking forward to this weekend's uh sneak peek and pulling a lot of good stuff. So yeah. And region form? Regionals. <laughs> oh sorry. Regionals, yay. Region form. Hit it. Looking forward for like a, like Kai and Chaos Burger said, looking forward for the sneak peek, seeing what I pull. Hopefully some shadow paladin stuff. I'm looking forward for well the rest the rest of this week. So yeah. Okay, Kumi, you good? Um. Well, so it smells like it's burning, and it smells like it's my laptop. Okay, um, quickly, yeah, quickly, quickly any then... comments and turn off your computer. Uh. Um. To those going to the sneak preview this weekend, good luck with everything. Um, for those who are in the middle of your school semester, keep pushing, no matter how difficult it seems. And you can still come back if you have a bad grade. Hey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, let's see. Is that everybody? Asuka? Wait, the Chrono District? Oh, wait, he went first. Yeah. yeah. You went first. Um, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Um, one, um... Can't wait to go to my first sneak preview. Ezel, see you Saturday. Pull us our uh -huh. Looking forward to it. <laughs> um, hopefully I pull cards that I want. <laughs> at a need. <laughs> um, to me, hopefully your computer is not overheating badly. Like um, people, I'll say this yeah. against Windows. Windows 10 suck. Don't get it. Don't upgrade. Or at least wait until they fix all the bugs. Right, because right now I have to do a factory reset on my computer because of Windows 10. Took Ow! Oh, God. Damn. I have it, too. It's okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Right now, I have 53%. And I hopefully get it done enough so I can go and so I can get Common Rider and stuff onto my... so I can watch it tomorrow when I'm on the bus going to school. Right. Until then, people! Hashtag that... Hashtag that one? Mmm... Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with <laughs> Nightmare Doll Meta. Okay. <laughs> Until then, next time, people, say bye bye. Take care. Bye bye. Bye, bye everybody. Else.